All right. Happy Tuesday, everyone. My name is Emilio Lorenzo. I am the director of student success here at NSU. Um, as always, these are our tools for success hosted by the Office of Student Success. So every week we host about two to three professional events, one to two social events, and it's all to support students. Um, if you're a part of our Student Success Scholars Program, attending one a semester is part of the requirement. But if you attend any more than that, you get two points per uh, um, visit. Um, and we do a lot of different topics that are there to support you. So besides being a requirement, it's there to support you in your success. Um, if you haven't done so already, I will be giving out a sports bag today as our giveaway. Um, so if you haven't done so already, please put your NSU email in the chat box. It also helps us track attendance for the day. Um, so I'm going to be talking today about NSU campus resources. And in about two minutes, I'm going to randomize and give out our giveaway. But I, there's so many resources here at NSU that it's sometimes easy to get lost as to which office does what, where are they located, how can I make an appointment, um, and what are services available to me that I'm not really even sure exist. Uh, anywhere from NSU clinics to the Alvin Sherman Library to the CAPS office, tutoring and testing, uh, our office created a handout sheet that kind of breaks down each office and its focus. So I'm gonna go through that today. And this is another reason why you should put your NSU email in the chat box. Um, after today, I will be emailing it to everyone that was in attendance today. Um, we're also gonna be posting it on the Canvas course. So if you're a student success scholar or one of our mentors, uh, this will also be available to you on our Canvas page afterwards. So a lot to go over today, um, but before I do so, um, you know, for those that put their name in the chat, um, we do have a winner selected. So um, for our sports bag, uh, Kaja Jackson, you won our sports bag for today. Um, this week, we have a lot of different giveaways, but this is the first of the week. Uh, so Kaja, after today, we'll be sure that we email you if you want to stop by our office. Uh, tomorrow, we are hosting our vision board planning event. So if you want to create a vision board for yourself with you or your mentor or you by yourself, uh, not only will you be able to create a vision board with supplies we're providing, uh, but we're going to be giving out a Sephora gift card and a movie gift card tomorrow. So again, every event we do, we do some sort of giveaway. Um, if these student success events are only required for student success scholars, but it is available to all students to attend if they wish to. So um, I just kind of wanted to clarify that. Um, so the first I wanted to talk about <coughs> is the Center for Academic and Professional Success. So it's also known as the CAPS office. At most universities, you have an academic advisor and a career advisor. And that can get a little complicated because you know, when you're talking about your academic classes, you also want to talk about internships, your goals, what you want to do. I want to get into medical school, dental school. I want to be a lawyer. This office and what's unique about NSU is your career advisor and academic advisor are the same person. Here at NSU, they're known as your edge advisor. So they can help you with internships, career fairs, finding jobs, but they can also help you create a four-year plan, academic advising, selecting a major or minor, talking about pre-health or registering for classes, shadowing opportunities, interview skills. They're located, they have two office locations. They're both in the Horvitz Administration Building. They're on the first and second floor, but more likely than not, your edge advisor is on that second floor. Uh, but if you call the office or stop by either office, they'll let you know who your edge advisor is, what's the next available appointment for them, you can also set up an appointment outside of calling them, emailing caps at nova.edu, or visiting NSU Navigate to set up an online appointment. Uh, they have drop-ins every day. You could set up a full appointment with your advisor, look at what they're next available. <coughs> Don't wait until you need an appointment. Start planning ahead. Things get busy. Sometimes your advisor might be booked two to three weeks in advance. So find out when their drop-in dates are, Find out when their next available date are. And even if right now you don't have something immediate to talk about, trust me, if you set up an appointment from three weeks from now, you will have something that you need to kind of cover with them. They also have a career fair coming up on September 21st. So 
if you are thinking about an internship, summer job, that would be an ideal spot to already start talking to your advisor about. The other great office is tutoring and testing center. So this is an office located on the second floor of the student affairs building. Uh, that's right across from the Shark Lake. It's actually right next to my building in Mailman Hollywood. Uh, they offer a lot of different services. They offer tutoring and testing for over su 40 subject areas. They also have success coaches on hand. They can help you with time management skills, study habits, concentration skills, overcoming procrastination, or connecting with other resources that can be really, really helpful as you kind of move towards success. Uh, they also do a lot of workshops. Many of our tools for success, we actually partner with them. So talking about study habits, we also do a whole midterm uh, live workshop sessions with them. But this is something you should really, really go to. Um, they're peer-led student appointments or they have tutors on hand. Um, not only getting you organized for class, but understanding the class material itself. Um, to schedule an appointment, just like with the CAPS office, you have a few options. First is calling their office itself, 954-262-8350. They also allow appointments through Navigate. So if you click on the Navigate link, it's the same username and password that you use for Shark Link, Shark Mail. Once you access Navigate, then you can select what office, what you're trying to schedule and make an appointment with the next available tutor or success coach. Or you could actually email their office, tutoring services at nova.edu. So again, they're located on the second floor of the Student Affairs Building. So if you have needs for tutoring, for success coaching, understanding course material, these could be super helpful. The next office kind of go hand in hand with tutoring and testing. Mm -hmm. Yep, do we have a question? Oh, was that by accident or did someone have a question? And guys, don't hesitate to stop me if you do have a question. I know I'm kind of giving a full rundown of all the offices, uh, but this is all for you. And a question you may have <coughs> might be a question that someone else on the chat or on the um, a webinar today has. So the other office that really supports your academic success is the Writing and Communication Center. Uh, they're located on the fourth floor of the Alvin Sherman Library. So where tutoring and testing can help you with the course material, your study habits, your memorization skills, the Writing and Communication Center can really help you with academic papers, essays, presentations, classroom or group uh, projects. This can be really helpful and they can help you at any point in the process. So let's say you're still brainstorming the paper or the research assignment, or you've completed it and you have a draft that needs editing. They can help you with either one. They can help you organize your thoughts, come up with the best strategies on writing the essay, proposing your hypothesis, or just organizing your thoughts on the paper itself. They're located, as I mentioned, at Alvin Sherman Library, <coughs> just like the other ones. They have a few options on setting up an appointment. You can visit NSU WCC, or you can call their office at 954-262-4644. Their direct email is wcc at nova.edu. But all four first three that we just mentioned, really heavily involving your academic success. Um, you know, we always define success in college as not just academics, but social, emotional, and professional. So CAPS is helping you a lot in that professional success. The writing and tutoring and testing center are really helping you in academic success, but especially meeting with these coaches and advisors could also help you develop a lot of life skills that come into play. And for anyone that just joined us, thanks for joining us. We will provide the recording afterwards so you're not missing anything. And I will be emailing this handout out afterwards. So if you haven't done so already, please be sure <coughs> to put your NSU email in the chat box today. So Campus Life and Student Engagement Office. <clears throat> this is an office you probably are familiar with. Maybe you're not aware that they're throwing all these great events. So all of those waves of welcome events at the beginning of the year, you know, the ones where Sharkapalooza or Waterworks or any upcoming concerts, anything like that, all of it is being hosted by Campus Life. They are the hub for all types of events on campus, homecoming week, community fest, um, again, concerts, comedians on campus. They do a whole lot of events. 
every week there's something different for students. If you're not sure what's available, every time you go to their website, they have a full engagement calendar that not only lets you know what's going on this week, but overall this month. The office also oversees all student clubs and organizations. Here at NSU, we have over 140 student groups and clubs. That's a very large list. And one thing that's great about NOVA is we're so focused on innovation. If there's a club or group that doesn't exist, we empower you to help you get started. And if you need assistance in getting the word out there to clubs and groups, that's something also I can assist you with. Um, all the clubs and groups are located on Shark Hub. And again, if you put your NSU email in the chat box today, I will send you um, this handout, which will provide you links to either Shark Hub, the student engagement calendar. But if you want, you can even stop by their office. If you go to the Downtown University Center, it's suite 1235. It's just before you get to uh, Rick, the, the gym, uh, the Rec and Wellness uh, Center. So another great way for you to kind of get involved and look at what's happening on campus. You know, college can be very stressful. And so outside of finding academic success and going out and leaving your comfort zone, you also want to stay balanced with your emotional and mental health. And so we have a Center for Student Counseling and Wellbeing. They provide services to help you deal with stress management, services to kind of deal with everything that's on your plate that maybe is making you feel overwhelmed. As a student, you get 10 free sessions working with a counselor from Henderson Health. So this is a huge, huge benefit to you. And just having someone to talk to, that can be immensely important throughout college. And so if you're already kind of struggling or you feel overwhelmed, you're feeling sick, homesick, obviously you have mentors that can support you. But this center is also an additional support that can teach you coping strategies that can be really, really important. Uh, so just like tutoring and testing is located on the second floor of Student Affairs Building, the Center for Student Counseling and Wellbeing is on the third floor. You can see we have two phone numbers listed right here for them. <clears throat> it's not by accident. They get very busy. So having two phone lines, just make sure that they can support you as quick as possible. Um, so we also work with this office to lead different workshops, again, on stress management, tools for success, coping strategies. So very, very valuable and something that everyone uses. And so debunking that myth that, you know, you shouldn't use these. This office service can be really, really impactful for you. All right. Now, last week, we hosted a session on community involvement and getting involved with nonprofits. Last week, there was also a volunteer fair. All of that was hosted by the SLICE office, also known as Student Leadership and Civic Engagement. So if you're looking to get involved in the Fort Lauderdale area, nonprofits, you know, different types of organizations that give back to a certain cause. This is a great office for you. It's going to help you develop life skills, help you give back to the community. So if you want to do a service trip or you want to go on a beach cleanup, or again, you want to work for like the American Red Cross as a volunteer, this office can really support you in those type of initiatives. They're located on the second floor of the Rosenthal Student Center. So uh, just as you leave, the um, University Center, the Shark Circle, they're right in there on the second floor. So the first floor, uh, you'll see SUTV and Shark Radio, uh, and this will be on the second floor where you talk to that office about opportunities. Next is Office of Recreation and Wellness. So if you wanna join intramurals, you wanna kind of get fit and go to the gym, they have an amazing gymnasium there, basketball courts, uh, Zumba courses, um, spinning, um, or if you just kind of want to get a lift in, get some cardio in, um, racquetball, uh, or even a, a rock climbing wall. So there's a lot of things you could be doing. Intramurals, there's all type of sports and involvements, uh, fitness and wellness classes, scuba diving and scuba diving certifications, outdoor adventures, a good way of getting involved. Like one thing is college can be really stressful, class can be stressful, Find hobbies and interests. It doesn't have to be through office and record well, but if you are interested in playing basketball, working out, rock climbing, scuba diving, this can be really, really great for you. So be sure you check that out. They're on the first floor of the Don Taft University Center. Now, if you have questions on financial aid, whether it's filling out your FAFSA, what uh, scholarships you might be eligible for, 
what student loans you could be applying for, uh, what are other ways you could do to kind of afford your college education, you should be stopping by the uh, Office of Student Financial Assistance. They're on the first floor of the Horvitz Administration Building, the same place that you got your shark card. It's also known as the one-stop shop. That's the same place that you can go for your financial aid needs. Again, talking to a financial aid counselor, having questions, finding out about deadlines, or just general questions about what scholarships are available to you as an undergrad student. You can also call the office, but I do recommend stopping on by. Uh, their number is 954-262-3380. You can also email them at finaid at nova.edu. But again, going in person is usually the best bet to make sure all your answers are answered and that you're really getting the message across that you need to. Now, <clears throat> if you need any testing accommodations, um, if you have a certified disability um, or identified disability, um, you need, let's say, extra test time taking or other academic accommodations, service animals, housing accommodations. We have a student disability service office. They'll work with you to verify those accommodations, what you need, and also communicate that in a confidential manner to your faculty or other individuals that need to be in the know. Um, and so this is really important. Don't be afraid to advocate for yourself in college. I don't know how many students end up losing out on things that they need to be successful because they're afraid of what others might think or they're afraid to speak up. That is one of the most important skills in college you're gonna have to learn, speaking up for yourself, advocating for yourself. So if you have something that you feel like you need an accommodation, you need extra support, contact their office at 954-262-7185. You can also email them at disabilityservices at nova.edu. They're located on the first floor of the Rosenthal <coughs> building, uh, Suite 121. So the same place I mentioned to you where Slice is located, uh, Sh Shark Radio, uh, SUTV, but they're on that first floor right at the back. Again, if you just joined us, no worries, guys. I will be sending the recording afterwards. You'll still get credit for attending if you want to add it to your assignments for Student Success Scholars. Uh, but if you could just put your NSU email in the chat box, that helps us track us for our attendance. Um, the other office I want to mention is enrollment and student services. So if you need to receive a transcript, um, enrollment verification, parking decals, getting your shark card, <coughs> verifying registration, or a student hold of some kind. Same place as financial aid. It's that one-stop shop. Um, same place, so you got your shark card. Go to First Floor Horvitz Administration Building. You could also give them a call at 954 262 3380. So, again, anything with your hold, transcripts, making a payment, issues registering for classes, your shark card, all of it is in that one stop shop. The next two, so our Title IX office, you know, one of our big emphasis here at NSU is we're a family. Uh, we have put a great focus on safety of students and supporting our students and trying to maintain a uh, really safe and, you know, non-discriminatory uh, environment here at NSU. So if you have questions or you're experiencing something you feel like you're being discriminated on, <coughs> or you're dealing with something that's making you feel uncomfortable, uh, please contact their office. They're on the first floor of the Rosenthal building, just like some of the few ones we've mentioned. You can also contact their office directly at 954-262-7863. Uh, they're here to work with you in a confidential way if you feel like, again, you're being discriminated upon, you're feeling uncomfortable, someone, whether it's a classmate or anyone, and they can really work with you to make sure you're getting your uh, supported. If you're an international student or you're just interested in learning about different cultures, the Office of International Affairs is another great resource for you. So if you're an international student, they help you with registration, immigration assistance, um, whether it's documentation, U.S. citizenship, uh, your green card, you name it, anything related to international students. They also have mentorship where they partner you with an international student. Uh, but they also do a lot of things to immerse yourself in cultures around the world, International Education Week, and many other events, even World Cup watch parties, which we're partnering with them on. They're located on the second floor of the Horvitz Administration Building. Uh, with NOVA being so diverse and representing so many different cultures, 
This office plays a big role in really promoting diversity throughout the entire campus community. Speaking of diversity, you know, part of college is figuring out your identity and promoting a really diverse college office and really promoting a sense of belonging within the campus culture. And that's what the diversity, equity, inclusion and belonging office does. You know, they fall under campus life, but they really try to strengthen the NSU community by programming either events, workshops, discussions, and more than anything, really trying to support and represent the underrepresented populations, uh, creating a sensitive, unified campus environment, educating those that need to, um, and really creating an environment that is inclusive and really supports the identity formation of all college students. Um, for more information, you can visit their website or if you email campuslife at nova.edu, uh, but their office hosts a lot of different events, things that we partner with them with. And again, we have a diverse campus community. We wanna make sure that everyone is very, everyone is not only supportive of that, but it's a really inclusive campus culture. Our Military Affairs Veterans Resource Center. So whether you're a veteran or you're looking to join the ROTC or listen in on events hosted by veterans, uh, this is a great office for you to hear from. Uh, they're on the first floor of the Carl DeSantis building right there in the atrium. Um, I've mentioned this office a little bit, Office of Studio Media. So we have a whole radio station, Radio X, uh, hosting shows like the Not So Early Morning Show, uh, Shark UT, uh, SUTV, uh, The Current, which has great articles uh, coming out every Tuesday. You can get a hard copy or you can visit their website. Um, a lot of great videos and a lot of things to support the media needs of the campus community. Also bringing to light issues that are important to students, whether through The Current or through other media channels. Um, if you're interested in joining The Current or learning more about their initiatives, you can give them a call. 954-262-2602 or sharktv at nova.edu. I mentioned our campus is very safe, um, probably the highest amount of cameras on campus, public safety officers, Navy police officers, they're there to support you. Uh, whether you need an escort at the end of the night, like let's say you get out of class and it's late and you don't feel comfortable walking your car, you could always give them a call. They'd be happy to walk in your car if you get your keys stuck in your car, they can assist you. Um, really anything you need, they're there for you. Um, and so you can always give them a call at any point on campus, 954-262-8999. Uh, they also deal with all parking services. So your decals, tickets. So they can also be reached at parking services at nova.edu. Next office is myself. So as I mentioned, we support student success in a variety of ways through our mentorship program, our scholars program. Uh, we host a variety of different workshops, men social events, mental health events, meditation. Uh, for anyone that's in our scholars program, they also have access to reserving our student success lounge that is always hooked up with different video games, board games, and snacks. Uh, but we're really focused on connecting students to the right resources they need. Speaking of that, our NSU care team. So just like our student counseling department or our success team, the care team is something provided by NSU that helps address concerns that students might be presenting. So whether they're homesick, they're having trouble getting out of their comfort zone, <coughs> there's a lot of barriers adjusting to college life that is affecting their function, everyday functioning, everyday ability to kind of reach their goals. This office can really work with them and meeting those needs and coming up with the right strategies to be successful moving forward. Um, then our next thing, our student conduct department. So if you're facing a student conduct department, an issue, uh, this office will work with you in dealing with grievances or appeals or things that you're dealing with in terms of potentially maybe not doing well in classes. Uh, you can always reach out to them at 262-7281 or studentconduct at nova.edu. Now, if you're getting stuck in your email, like you're locked out of your email, or you lost your phone and now you can't verify your account, or you're having trouble just accessing anything, email, online courses, issues on your phone, your outlook on your phone, technical questions, at any point, our Shark IT Service Center is available to you. You can call them by 954-262-4357. 
Again, very great help desk. Something I use on the regular when I get locked out or having technology needs. Uh, you can also email that at sharkitservice.adnova.edu, but giving a call is always a lot easier. Finally, before we get into some of our clinics, we have our Alvin Sherman Library. So if you need to check out a book, a textbook, something for classes, rent a study room, or work with one of our librarians on your research paper, <coughs> research tied to a class, materials you need, they're there to assist you one-on-one. -on -one. Also through a library, you have access to LinkedIn Learning, which we have a workshop later this semester. Um, and that's to support you in terms of learning different skills like Excel, hard skills, soft skills, things that can support you in your career and your classroom success. Finally, see our NSU Food Pantry. <clears throat> if you wanna donate food to students or others of need, you can do this through our Food Pantry. Or if you're someone that might be struggling right now, in a confidential way, our food pantry is available to all students, provides non-perishable food items, canned foods, vegetables, soups, toiletries, things that you might need. Um, we have a direct website and link to it. So again, putting your NSU in the chat box, um, I can send you this afterwards. You can see kind of how I access everything. Now, the great thing about NSU, outside of being an amazing university, it's also a great access to healthcare. <clears throat> so, if you have needs for your dental, medical, hearing, <coughs> mental health, occupational therapy, physical therapy, pharmacy, there is a clinic for every area, nutrition onwards, that is available to you as students. And so sometimes it's good because you're not always aware of this. It's in your student manual, but it can get lost in a shuffle. So this guide will also provide a direct link and contact number to all of these medical clinics and access clinics here at NSU. But that was a lot of information. The other day, there is a lot of resources available to you as NSU students. Uh, one of the things that's kind of the hidden curriculum of NSU or hidden curriculum for all college students to find success is understanding when or where to use these resources and where, to, where can they be found. And so that's why we created this short guide and we created this video that we're recording so that it could make sense of where these offices are located, why they're valuable, and making sense of how I could navigate the different portals to make appointments with these offices. <clears throat>